Good morning, YouTubers. Adventure Link here. Back again with another uh, video for you guys. Why? Because it's YouTube. Because if we make videos on YouTube, how the heck are you? Welcome aboard. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching. If it's your birthday, congratulations. Happy birthday. Um, we're just past the holiday season, so I hope you had a good Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever it is you celebrate. And if you're British, Australian, or Canadian, hope you scored some good deals on Boxing Day. Scored one for me, I hope. Always love good deals. Yeah. And hopefully you have a successful and happy 2015 New Year. Because for real, let's call this a uh, Learn From Adventure Link's Mistakes video. And a quick tip on the IOD or ignition off draw fuse on a Chrysler product. In this example, the patient in question is a 2006 Dodge Grand Caravan with the SXT package with the 3.8 liter V6 engine. Although, like I said, this should pretty much apply to any Chrysler product, especially those with a body control module or BCM. So a little bit of story on my personal IOD fuse, or like I said, ignition off draw fuse. I was working on my radio and I and I ground I must have grounded out some kind of wire in it or some other wire because it popped my IOD fuse. Um, I'm gonna go over some uh, signs that I got personally with it. Your signs could vary. Um, I forgot to mention that the IOD fuse is one of the fuses that supplies the power for the BCM or body control module. So in any case, let's um, just get started with the signs. Um, first off, you know how, how you turn off your headlights or you turn on your headlights with the key out of the ignition? Nothing. Door lock switch. Nothing. Key fob. Nothing. Instrument panel. See how all the lights go on? Watch. Now there's a delay on the, the lights turning off. Additionally, if you ran your engine, your RPM gauge or your tachometer would also stay in its position and then go down later. Additionally, as you can hear, I've got the door open again and no ding, 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 ding. Radio. Although this is my uh, new Jensen radio, I'm going to guess that the factory radio is going to behave the same way. Now normally there would be a longer um, pause before the radio shuts off or until you open the door. That actually just closed on its own just like that. Okay, interior lighting. Normally this is supposed to come on when you push the button in. Nothing. Now I'm going to turn the flashers on. I got flashers. I got lights, and normally when I was doing this last night, the rest of the interior lights was coming on as well. Um, additionally, you could also have uh, HVAC issues. I've also heard of other radio issues, the vehicle not starting, etc. Now, your IOD fuse is right here on the diagram C. It's right there above the uh, front wiper on relay. Now I pulled this fuse out, and what do I find? Turn it over. Yeah, that uh, kind of looks like a nice little solder blob got in that fuse there. So we got ourselves a uh, fresh new 20 amp ATM fuse. You know, A as in Allen, T as in Timmy, M as in Michael. We're gonna drop it in our IOD hole. And now, for the very most part, everything should come back. Door locks. Headlights and the and the dinger for that. Key and the ignition dinger. Don't be alarmed if your instrument cluster still does this. You'll have to give it a few uh, key cycles, or otherwise wait a minute for for the instrument cluster to start playing nice again. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, key cycle it now.
There it is. Instrument cluster is playing nice once again. Um, the radio should uh, play nice once again. See, I didn't even open the door. I'm just sitting here chilling, waiting for the radio to fold back down and uh, do its thing. Or I can only speed it up and open up the door. Well, normally on a factory radio, the radio would shut down as soon as you open up the door anyway. And our lights are back. Woohoo! And pretty much everything that was once uh, gone should now come back. Yeah! Sweet! So now hopefully you've learned two things from this video. How to diagnose your uh, IOD fuse blowing. And why you should always pull the negative battery cable from the battery. Even if it's just as simple as a radio. You wouldn't think that even a simple radio would cause a whole bunch of blood hurt, but believe me, in this case it did. I mean, it's one thing if we're working on something mission critical, you know, like the BCM itself, PCM, ABS, airbags, etc., to always pull the battery then. But I didn't think a radio would cause so much butt hurt. Oh well, at least now you know how to how to diagnose it and where to start from here. So that's it. That was my quick tip video on the IOD fuse on your Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, Jeep, or Fiat product. Anyways, I am Adventure Link. I um, just want to say thank you all for watching my video. I appreciate your watching my videos. Hopefully you got something from this video and you learned something from it. Hopefully this video leads you to a successful diagnosis, repair, maintenance task, upgrade, whatever your case may be. Um, in addition to your viewing my videos, you want to know what I also appreciate? Rates and subscriptions, of course. Down in the video description or thereabouts, all the buttons are there. My videos are no exception. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, etc. on this video, but no flame fighting, spam, or other such bullcrap, I'd ask that you take it down in the comments section. I'm man enough to take all your comments, so throw whatever you got at me. However, if you have any questions about the uh, Chrysler, Dodge, and Plymouth minivans as a whole, I would ask that you head on over to the uh, Chrysler Minivan Fan Club forums. Additionally, if Facebook is more your thing, I would ask that you head on over to the Chrysler and Dodge Minivan Owners Group on Facebook. Search the forums or Facebook group, join up, post your questions. The fine folks that do the medium will be happy to answer any questions you have in a timely manner. It's kind of cold outside, so make sure you stay warm and bundle up. When it's warm outside, you know... Stay cool, stay in the shade. Either way, um, eat right, stay hydrated, and stay healthy. Um, work hard, have fun, and make history. See, it even says that on the back of this t-shirt here. But in any case, you know, don't let others push you around. And this is Adventure Link signing off with the wise words of wisdom from Eric the Car Guy, reminding all y'all out there to be safe, have fun, and of course, stay dirty. Until then, peace out. I'll see you all next video. Later.